Good morning. John the Baptist condemned Herod on a morality issue. Was that wrong? Was he meddling? Is that all wrong? Let's look today at Mark 6. We're looking at verses 14 through 29. It's quite a section, so I'll just read a portion of it and I'll summarize the rest. So John the Baptist told Herod that what he was doing was wrong when he married his brother's wife. It was all morally all wrong. And John the Baptist got put into prison. And this is a very grim little segment here of what happens with John the Baptist. And so John, Herod keeps him there in prison, but Herodias was plotting against him, and she waited and waited for her opportunity. And her opportunity came when Herod had a big party, and Herod was, was drunk, and he had a whole bunch of people he was trying to impress. So uh, we'll pick it up at verse 21. Then an, uh, an opportune day came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a feast for his nobles, the high officials, and the chief men of Galilee. And when Herodias' daughter herself came in and danced and pleased Herod and those who sat with him, the king said to the girl, Ask me whatever you want, and I will give it to you. He also swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give it to you, up to half my kingdom. So she went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. Immediately she came in with haste to the king and asked, saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. And the king was exceedingly sorry, but because of the oaths and because of those who sat with him, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded his head to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in prison, brought his head on a platform and gave it to the girl, and the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took away his corpse and laid it in a tomb." very grisly uh, segment here. You know that everybody who presents a moral position will always incur the wrath of those who are promoting immorality. It's just something you have to plan for. It's just the way it is. You can't go around it. Uh, this is just part of the gospel here. And so what is, what is life? What is life? Life is a staging place for character. And the people who want to impose themselves and power over others, they'll, they'll demonstrate that. The people who want to do good, they will demonstrate that. And nobody would want to do good but for the Holy Spirit working in our hearts. But some accept that work and some reject that work. And that's the free choice that God gives us. So as you are serving God, don't plan. You're going to have a, a magic carpet ride into the kingdom. It's just going to be uh, glorious and luxurious. It's just going to be easy all the way. No, it's going to be challenging. John the Baptist was a righteous man, but he was beheaded because of the senseless, senseless, drunken party that Herod was at. God knows all about it. There's a day when John the Baptist will be resurrected. But sometimes along the pathway of service to God, bad things happen to very good people. We just need to make sure that we let God work in us and that we are doing what God's will is. And we can leave the rest, all the rest, we can leave it with God. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be right, help us to be wise. Nobody wants to die on any hills today. We all just want to be not friendly to people and let things go. But you often have us uh, call out and call sin by its right name, Lord. So help us to be faithful servants of you, no matter the cost, no matter the cost. Lord, we ask for the grace to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, the Lord God will help us to be faithful as we serve him, no matter what assignment he gives us. God be with you today. In Jesus' name we ask for that.